Hi, my name is Joe. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to add this second router in the new place by using the fiber optic cable. The first question is why we need the fiber optic cable? You see, the fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency, and long distance run. Now we are using 1000 megabyte per second bandwidth. But in the future, if we were to upgrade the link to 10,000 megabyte per second, if we were using the fiber optic cable, we don't need to replace the cable, we just need to change the equipment both sides. And the distance we can go from the first router to the second router, we can have up to 10 km. It's quite long. Before we move ahead, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, we got the second router. You can see there's no port to adapt to the fiber optic cable, right? Or we all we got just network port RJ45 port. So in this case, we need the first component is the media converter. These two are the media converter. What does this media converter do? It will convert the electronic signal to fiber optical signal so you can travel through the fiber optic cable. This is the SAP slot. You can see it's empty. We still cannot connect the fiber optic cable to this slot directory. So you need second component is the SAP transceiver. This is the SAP transceiver. Now I can insert the SAP transceiver to the slot. This transceiver determines what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode or multi mode. Also, the what kind of connector you can use. This one is set the LC connector. You may notice there's only one port. That's because this is the BIDY SSP transceiver. It only needs single code, single fiber optic cable to transmit and receive the data. It uses a different wavelength, so it saves one of the fiber optic joint. Okay, now let me just power up this media converter. It uses the DC tail voltage. Also, this is the short punch code coming from the first router. Now we got the data for the media converter. From here, I'm going to use the short punch code to link the media converter to the fiber optic manager box. You can see the fiber optic cable is ready between the point A and point B. I'm using this box to manage the cable. There's nothing special, only cable management. So it will look more tidily because I can use the short punch code to link this media converter to the box. And if I have new device in future, there's a second stride so I can use. Okay, this is the short punch code. Now connect to the one end of the SAP transceiver. And now just move to the congestion box and now I'm choosing the eight. We have two stripes, one is A, the other is B. So when we move to the other side, we also to make sure we're using the A, otherwise it will not work, right? Okay, it's ready for the first first end. Now let's get the another media converter and go to the second end. Also, we need to install a SAP transceiver. Now let me power up the media converter. This is the DC tail voltage. And put it on the wall. From here, I need two short punch codes. The first punch code is the KFIE Ethernet cable, so you can link the media converter to the second router. And I just need to pick one of the LAN port, not the one LAN, just the LAN port. Also, I need to power up the second router. Now, just the last step. I need to connect the cable A to this media converter. Then it will be it. That will be it. Okay, let me just connect to the media converter. And now let's go to the cable manager box and find the 8, the first one. Now, there we are. You see, the now data is going through this KFIE internet cable and go to the media converter and it will convert the electricity signal to the fiber optic signal and travel through this fiber optic cable and to the point B. And here we got another media converter. It will convert the fiber optic signal back to the electricity signal. So it, it will inventory working with the second router. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about the system, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.